Hi, this presentation is going to basically show you how to show your presentation to the class. So you're going to click here to show your slideshow. You're going to start by introducing the title, your name, and talking a little bit about the presentation. So this presentation is called The Art of Presenting by Diantha Smith. And I'm going to be basically giving you some skills and strategies for how to give a good presentation. First thing that you want to think about when you're putting together a presentation is color. Uh, it may not seem like a big deal, but it can really affect the readability of your slides. So for instance, with dark colors, here I have a dark color on a white background, and it's really easy to read. But a dark color on a dark background, very hard to read. Same thing with light colors. Light colors on a dark background, perfect. Light colors on a white background, not so good. So you want to be paying attention to your coloring and if it helps readability or hinders it. Next thing you want to think about is how colors, complementary colors, primary colors, warm and cool colors, how they can affect the mood of a slide. Um, complementary colors and primary colors are good for bold statements. Warm and cool colors are kind of good just to set a tone. If you want to have some energy and excitement, you use the warm colors. If you want to have a feeling of harmony and peace and everybody getting along, you might want to use some cool colors. Here are some examples. In these top two, you can see that the color is a little bit overwhelming. It's a little bit too much. Uh, down underneath, though, this color is fairly simple. We just have different shades of orange, black, and white. And this is much easier on the eyes. And also, just instead of being distracting, the color is really more supporting some of the information that's there. Next thing we want to talk about is font. So when you're using font, first thing is to remember is just limit the number of words that you put on each slide. You don't want the reader to be reading along the whole time. You want them to actually be listening to you. So the next thing you want to think about is size. 26 point to 44 point is the range you want to stay in. If you get smaller than 26 point, it's hard to read. If you get too much bigger than 44 point, it can kind of take over your whole slide. There are some times when, if it's really important, you can use the bigger font, but for the most part, 26 to 44 is where you want to stay. The next thing you want to think about is simplicity. Simple font is best. So you can use sans serif or serif font, but you don't want to get into these fancy fonts. Fancy fonts are hard to read, um, especially if you're on a smaller screen like you will be for the presentations for this class. So here are some examples. You can see that these two examples in the corners here they just have way too much text. If I was doing this slide up here, for instance, I would want to have the text split between at least two slides. Same thing down here. This one just kind of looks a little bit tacky, honestly. And this one is just about right. We've got simple font. We've got just the right amount of font per page. It's not too much. You can tell the person's going to be talking through most of this rather than having you read it. All right. Let's talk about pictures now. Pictures are one of my favorite parts of presentations. Um, when you're doing pictures, uh, think about less is more. Three, or picture, three pictures or less is best. Um, you also want to be thinking about focus, and you use size to show importance. If you want your reader or listener to focus on one idea, then that should be your biggest picture. Um, any subpoints should be smaller pictures. And then be consistent. Try not to mix cartoons with photographs. It looks just a little bit tacky. And then finally, pay attention to resolution. When you're on Google Images, try to get higher resolution if possible. Again, here are some examples. Over here, we have a couple of slides that have some problems. This has way too many pictures. Um, these pictures are very distracting rather than actually helpful to the message. And here, this picture in the background is kind of making this font hard to read. So it's much better just to have, again, one simple picture, three at the most, that kind of supports the text that's here and is really easy to read and, and look at from a distance. All right, finally, last and most importantly, make sure you edit and practice your presentation. Small grammar mistakes are very noticeable on a big slide. Make sure you watch for spelling and punctuation. Also, practice talking slowly. We all get nervous. And even when nobody's looking at us, we can start to talk really fast and it's really hard to understand. So be sure you practice talking slowly. And then finally, be sure to stay within the time limit. Five to 10 minutes, 10 minutes is the absolute max. Five minutes is actually just about right, um, especially for a video like this. But if you need to go a little bit over, remember 10 minutes is your max. 
All right, thank you so much for your attention and I look forward to seeing your presentations.